Let's take the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x. Well, step 1, plug it in. 1 over 0 is undefined, can't do that, okay. Moving on, step 2, algebra gymnastics. Well, we have x in the bottom, we have a 1 on top, we can't factor out that x in the bottom, which means we don't have a whole, and so we can't do algebra gymnastics, which moves on to step 3. We are going to assume that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. What this means is that at x equals 0, at both the left-hand side and the right-hand side, our function is going to approach either infinity or negative infinity. The question is, which one? We know it's going to infinity. The question is, is it positive or negative infinity? So all we have to do is check the sign from both sides of 0. And that will give us a good idea of what's happening. Well, what I always do is I check really close to zero from both sides. If we take the limit as x approaches zero from the negative side of one over x, let's find a number very close to zero on the negative side. I usually choose a number that's 0.1 away. So in this case, we'll use negative 0.1. 0.1 away is a good example because it's close enough that you're not going to have a whole lot of weird things happening in your function in that 0.1 area. And also to give you a good indication of the sign of your function as you're approaching whatever number you're trying to approach. So here as we approach 0, between negative 0.1 and 0, our function probably isn't going to do a whole bunch of really weird, drastic stuff. So this is a pretty good estimation of what's truly happening on that side of the function. So all we do is we plug in negative 0.1. Not even to figure out what the number is. We don't care about that. All we care about here is whether our answer is positive or negative. So we have a positive on top. We have a negative in the bottom, positive over negative. Since we're assuming that we have a vertical asymptote, this is going to go to negative infinity on the left-hand side. We can do the exact same thing to figure out what's happening to 0 from the right-hand side of 1 over x by choosing a number 0.1 away from 0 on the right-hand side. Let's try 0.1. Well, we have positive 1 on top positive 0.1 on the bottom, positive over positive, that's going off to positive infinity. So from the left hand side of 0, we're diverging to negative infinity. From the right hand side of 0, we're diverging to positive infinity. And because the left hand side does not equal the right hand side, the limit does not exist. Now, I have graphed here using Wolfram Alpha the graph of 1 over x, and here it is. And lo and behold, from the left-hand side of 0, our function's diverging down to negative infinity. Now take a look, we use negative 0.1, which is right here, which is a very good indication of the sign at that side of 0. And from the right-hand side, we're going up to positive infinity. Of course, we used 0.1 for our example, and that is, again, a very good indicator of what's happening on that side as well. I have yet to see an example where 0.1 away from your limit is a bad indicator. So always use 0.1 away, either to the left or to the right.